Your skin doesn't separate you from the world, it's a bridge through which the external world flows into you and you flow into it. Just, for example, as a whirlpool in water, you could say because you have a skin, you have a definite shape, you have a definite form. The whirlpool is a definite form, but no water stays put in it. The whirlpool is something the stream is doing. And exactly the same way, the whole universe is doing each one of us. And I see you today, and I uh, recognize you tomorrow, just as I would recognize a whirlpool in a stream. I'd say, oh yes, I've seen that whirlpool before. It's just near so-and-so's house on the edge of the river. And it's always there. And so in the same way, when I meet you tomorrow, I recognize you, you're the same whirlpool you were yesterday. But you're moving. The whole world is moving through you. All the cosmic rays, all the food you're eating, the stream of steaks and milk and uh, eggs and uh, uh, everything is just flowing right through you. When you're wiggling the same way, the world is wiggling, the stream is wiggling you. But the problem is, you see, we haven't been taught to feel that way. The myths underlying our culture and underlying our common sense have not taught us to feel identical. We are the eternal universe, each one of us. Otherwise, we're going to go out. Just so